All right. It is Monday, October 7th, 2019 at 3.13 p.m. Let's take a look at the weather. All right. This week has weather conditions from all four seasons. Fall is a season of transition and it can bring many different weather conditions. This week has a snowstorm and severe thunderstorms on track. The National Hurricane Center is monitoring two areas of development in the Atlantic and Santa Ana winds will return to the Southern California area. Fall is when the jet stream springs to life its summer slumber, increasing the chances of snowfall and severe weather. At the same time, the tail end of the hurricane season is still in progress. Occasionally, those weather conditions covering all seasons can happen all at once this time of year, and this week is an example. The Rockies and Northern Plains Snowstorm Heavy snow and strong winds will develop in the northern Rockies beginning on Tuesday. The wintry weather will then advance toward the front range of the Rockies and Northern Plains through late this week. At least half a foot of snow could pile up in parts of the northern Rockies as well as in the Dakotas and northwest Minnesota through Saturday. This system will also likely bring the first accumulation of snow of the season to the Denver metro area on Thursday. And then you see here the possibilities of lighter snow to heavier snow in Bismarck, Fargo, Rapid City, parts of Denver, Billings. All right. Severe weather in the plains. Severe thunderstorms could impact the plains in the warmer air ahead of the storm system, uh, bringing snow to the northeastern tier states. Thursday is the day most likely for severe thunderstorms from parts of the central Oklahoma into eastern Kansas and western Missouri. Damaging winds and large hail are the primary threats, but isolated tornadoes cannot be ruled out. Severe weather could continue along the cold front on Friday in the Ohio and Mississippi valleys, but there's uncertainty at this time. So from Oklahoma City to Kansas City, the possibility of severe weather is there. All right. Watching two areas in the Atlantic, there are no active named storms in the Atlantic, but the National Hurricane Center is monitoring a few potential areas for development. One of those is located well west of the east of Bermuda in Central Atlantic and is no threat to land. It has a chance to form into a tropical or subtropical storm through Wednesday before upper level winds become too hostile. A separate area is also being watched off the east coast where low pressure is forecast from between the Outer Banks and Bermuda Tuesday into Wednesday. That low could gradually transition into subtropical storm later this week, according to the National Hurricane Center. Even if it doesn't, this system will be a nuisance for the mid-Atlantic and northeast coast by sitting up rough surf rip currents and coastal flooding this week. Windy conditions and periods of rain could also impact parts of the coastline during the second half of the week. And you see here potential development the next five days shown by X current location and the Atlantic Basin. Low uh, development chance off the coast of North Carolina and New York area here. All right, and then there's also Santa Ana winds to return to Southern California. Santa Ana winds are a common occurrence in fall, and they will return to Southern California later this week. Strong high pressure will build over the interior west by Wednesday. When that happens, Santa Ana winds from the northeast and east move through the canyons and passes in Southern California. The National Weather Service in Los Angeles says a moderate Santa Ana wind event is expected Wednesday night through Saturday morning. All right, so that's it for that. Let's take a look here also at the winter storm names for 2019 and 2020 have been revealed for this winter season. It says the Weather Channel released the 2019 to 20 winter storm names list on Thursday, marking the eighth season of naming winter storms. The name will be used in alphabetical order to identify winter storms that meet objective naming criteria based on the National Weather Service winter storms warnings, blizzard warnings, and ice storm warnings. So here you have the list. I'm going to leave a link on the below the description of the of the video so you guys can see um, the list if you feel like uh, looking at the names. Okay, let's take a look now at the National Hurricane Center. Here we have three disturbances. We have Disturbance 3, Disturbance 2, and Disturbance 1. Disturbance 1 is a 50% chance of cyclone formation in 48 hours, and formation chance through 5 days at medium 
50%. Then we have Disturbance 2 with 0% chance of cycle formation in 48 hours. And throughout 5 days, a low 30% chance. And then Disturbance 3 has 10% chance of cycle formation in 48 hours. And formation chance through 5 days, low at 10%. Alright, let's take a look at the satellite imagery. This is what's happening over the Atlantic right now. Pretty much just rain spots or the disturbances. And then you see the cold front kind of pushing through here over the United States. It has been getting cooler here in uh, North Carolina. Alright, here we have over the Yucatan Peninsula and parts of um, Cuba some rain and then parts of Florida also some rain. That's the Gulf. And then this is off the coast of Africa. There's still some uh, storms happening off the coast of Africa, but nothing seems to be really developing and coming off. All right, that's it for this video. Hit like and subscribe for more updates on the news and weather. And see you guys next time. God bless.